I'm not recommending that you try this. The video simply shows the steps I took to complete a project. I tried to save around $300. The sidewalk slab at our front stoop had sunk on one end to a 10 and a half inch step. It caused visitors to trip stepping up and to stumble stepping down. One cubic foot of concrete weighs about 145 pounds. That means a six foot by six foot by four inch slab weighs about 1900 pounds. But I need only to lift one end of the slab. I estimated that I would need to lift about 1,000 pounds. I got estimates for mud jacking and foam jacking for $350. They would drill two holes in the slab and pump material into the holes. A friend told me foam jacking does not last. I raised the slab myself for less than $60. I considered many ways to lift the slab and what to put under it. I decided to use heavy duty C-clamps and scissors jacks and insert high density foam underneath. The hardware I used is all heavy duty with capacities that exceed the weight of the slab and can be purchased at any hardware store. My first step was to dig down next to the slab and determine the thickness. Mine was about 5 inches, so I bought 6 inch C-clamps. Here is the C-clamp with the chain draped around it. I then bought a 10 foot long 4x4 post and two large heavy duty eye bolts. Here is the 4x4 post with the eye bolts installed, ready to be attached to the chains and placed onto the jacks. These are standard car jacks that you probably already have at home. The jacks are in position resting on cement blocks and scrap 2x8 boards. The two jacks are raised slowly at the same rate simultaneously. I raise the slab 6 inches to prepare to slide in the foam. High density foam is specifically designed to withstand tremendous loads. This foam is rated at 25 psi, meaning that the layers we inserted will easily support 50 times the weight of our slab. I took special care to block the slab with a 4x4 once it was raised and then release some of the tension on the jacks. We also never put our hands under the slab. We inserted the foam in three foot and smaller pieces. Because I needed to lift only one end of the slab, I inserted four inches of foam on the end and two inches of foam at the center of the slab. When the slab was lowered, it rested on the two sections equally. We never placed our hands under the slab. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like after the job was done.